Um, well, the next, the next tune uh, I'd like to do is one what I wrote myself, and it's called G&A Blues. Um, the, uh, my very good friends uh, Grant and Amy McTavish uh, gave me this soprano sax many moons ago. Um, it's a, it's a, a, a great instrument, and um, I thought, well, thanks, the least I can do is to write them a tune, so I did the least I could do. <laughs> and this, is the, this was the result. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if, I don't know if your, your microphones are quite ready for this <laughs> instrument <laughs> at the moment, but it does have uh, quite a, it's quite a lot louder than anything else. Yeah, this, uh, uh, yeah. It's the uh, volume is something else. We, we actually call this instrument the flamethrower because, um, <laughs> honestly, the, when he lays into it, the volume out of this thing could singe your eyebrows at 30 paces. So, yeah, like, an example. Like this. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Pardon? Yes, the tinnitus special, they call it as well. And... Um, of course, uh, it's it's dated. It was made in 1914. This and so and it uh, it has the look of an instrument that's been through two world wars. And um, actually, in the in the first world war, you could um, if you had one of these in your backpack and your Lee Enfield malfunctioned when you're going over the top, you just <laughs> took this out of your backpack and hey, to, to frighten the enemy off the blow battlefield. Blow them away. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, GNA Blues. <laughs>
Let's do that one again. <laughs>